Hi everyone, Matt here. And today I want to talk about Project Blue. So that's a project we just got out. We just released it to the world and we're really excited about it. We've had a couple thousand people download it now. We just got it in the uh, tech press as well. We were happy to get coverage on sites like Mac Rumors and Windows Central. And so really excited to get it out there and have had a really fantastic response. People have already been leaving reviews on the App Store about it and a lot of five-star reviews, which we love to see. And this is something we've been working on for almost two years, so we're super excited about it. But the big question you're probably asking is, what the heck is Project Blue? Well, it's actually a test vehicle. That's what we think of it as, a test vehicle for both AstroPad and Lunar Display on Windows. So it's a free beta of our software stack that's now available for Windows. And it, there's an app for the iPad and there's an app for Windows for Project Blue. Just search on the App Store, Project Blue, or go to our website, astropad.com slash Project Blue, and you can play around with it. And really it is at its core, it is Project Blue is Astropad Studio for Windows. And if you're not familiar with our whole lineup of products, Astropad is our line of products that allows you to use the iPad as a drawing tablet for your computer. Traditionally, it's only been the Mac, but soon and now with Project Blue, you can do that with the PC as well. And then there's, of course, Lunar Display, which we had the Kickstarter for, and we've been selling on the Mac for quite some time. Allows you to use the iPad or another Mac as a second display. And so the thing you should know about both AstroPan and Luna is under the hood they use a lot of the same technology. Now, what you might have seen in our Kickstarter is the Luna hardware itself, or if you've bought Luna, you might really pay attention to the hardware, but behind the scenes, there's a ton of software that makes that experience possible. There's probably more software actually development that's gone into it than actually hardware at this point. And because they share the same tech, we've put together Project Blue, which uses that tech, which we call Liquid, and shipped it on Windows so that we can really test things out before we ship our Lunas to all of those Kickstarter backers. So if you're a Kickstarter backer and you're wondering what the heck does this have to do with me, well, check out Project Blue and use it. It's going to mirror your screen right now, and it's going to give you an idea of the kind of performance and experience you're going to get once you get your Luna, once we ship them. Now, right now, Project Blue can only mirror because that's what the hardware does. That's what the Luna hardware does. By plugging in the hardware where it activates another screen, that, that Luna really dongle you see plugged into the computer, that's what acts as a mini display right there. It's like a, a little display activates, and then we can use the iPad as that extra display. But without it, we're forced to just mirror. But you can download Project Blue right now, and you can mirror and get an idea of what the experience is gonna be like. We've completely re-engineered everything really to make it cross-platform and to be able to have our liquid tech that powers both AstroPad and Luna be able to run across the Mac and the PC. But Project Blue is the only one using it right now. And another thing you might be wondering is, well, why did we create a new app? Why didn't we roll this out into our existing AstroPad apps or the Luna Display apps itself? That's a great question. And I really think a Project Blue is actually a really clever solution to a problem we have with the App Store. And the problem we have with the App Store is you can only have one version of an app up on the store at a time. Normally that's fine, but in the case of say Luna or AstroPad, we already have thousands and thousands of customers, tens of thousands of customers out there that are using this every day as part of their professional workflow. And that's not something we wanna interfere with. Meanwhile, we've been completely rewriting our entire our software stack. But because it's new, that's going to mean there's bugs in it. And it needs quite a bit of beta testing before we're able to roll it out to everyone. And so we really want this to be separate right now. We really want people to be able to play around with it, but still be able to get back, if they're a Mac user, to the production, the, the regular version of Luna Display or AstroPad we have available. But that's not something we can do with a regular app on the App Store because we can only have one version up at a time and you can't roll back to an earlier version. So that's a problem. And that meant that in order to release anything at all, it would have to be close to perfect. And if anybody involved with software or hardware knows, you know, you just don't do that the first time around. 
you release something. It just doesn't happen that way. You have to release software to the world. You have to get it out there. You have to get people's experiences with it. You have to have people running on different setups to find out what those real world problems are. That's just the nature of software. There's just a wide variety of systems out there and you need that real world interaction to find out what's wrong. So our solution is for the time being to have another app on the App Store and that's Project Blue. So now this thing can live completely separate of our Mac versions right now of Luna Display and Astropad. And while the PC version is in beta, it can live on the App Store as Project Blue. And it doesn't interfere with anything. We can update it. We can get those beta reports. We can get bug reports. We can get just general feedback and continue to work on that with Project Blue. So that's that's our solution. And so then you might ask, well, what's eventually going to happen with Project Blue? Well, our intent with Project Blue is only to have it up there while our Windows software is in beta. Once it does leave beta, this would be later in the year, we will phase out Project Blue and combine everything into both Astrobat Studio and our Luna Display app. So if you're back in the Kickstarter, you'd be using the regular Luna Display app. So then we'd have one Luna Display app that works for Windows and it works for Mac and we'd phase out Project Blue at that point. But there's no definitive timeline on that. Right now, we're just super excited to have gotten the beta out there and to have people using it and to be able to continue to refine it. And again, we think a pretty clever way to get a beta, beta app out there on the App Store. So in the meantime, though, we really do need your feedback. So please install and run our free beta, www.astropad.com slash Project Blue. Install it on your PC. We are very, very actively working on Project Blue. Again, any feedback you share now is going to make Lunar Display, if you're a Kickstarter backer, that much better when it ships because we can find out our problems ahead of time and hopefully fix all of, most of the problems, major problems, before we ship those Lunas out. And if you're an Astropad Studio user, check out Project Blue. This is going to have a lot of the functionality and features you're used to in Astropad. Play around with it and give us that feedback so that uh, we can fold it in and improve it before we ship Astropad Studio officially for the PC later in the year as well. So super happy to have it out there. We hope you enjoy playing around with uh, Project Blue. Let us know what you think. And you can always drop us a line at blue at astropad.com. Let us know how your experience goes. So that's all 